Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to teach you a 30 minute yin yoga practice. With yin yoga, make sure you really listen to your body, move slowly into and out of the poses, and also make sure you only hit 80% of your maximum stretch at the start of a class. Because as we hold each pose, gravity and that long hold will take you deeper into the stretch as we go. The only equipment you need today is a yoga mat to lay on the floor and perhaps a folded up blanket or towel that you can use to place under your hips or under your knees as you go, but I talk you through those cues as we get to them. A little about me if you haven't met me before. I've taught class to over 14,000 clients at my studio here in Adelaide, Australia, as well as countless more people online. I'm an osteopath, naturopath, nutritionist, bar, yoga and adult ballet instructor. And I love sharing the message of health and wellness in a very big way. And this is my little assistant, Sunny. We're gonna see if she can stay asleep through the whole class, but you never know what might happen, at least it'll be entertaining either way. If you like what I'm doing here and would like to try some of my bar classes, I have a free downloadable PDF and video series called Total Body Tone Up in Under Three Weeks. You can download this by hitting the link in the description section right below this video. And also, if you like what I'm doing here, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button and the notifications bell so you don't miss out on all the videos that I post every single week. All right, let's get into the workout. We'll start this lovely short yin practice in seated pose Sukhasana. So our shoulders are back, feeling your shoulder blades down into your back pockets lengthening through the spine, abs very gently engaged and feel an opening across your collarbones as the crown of the head reaches for the ceiling. Hands rest gently on your knees and start taking little circles of the body around, gently warming up through the spine, feeling your body arch as you come forward and the spine round as you go back. big circles around. Let's start to make those circles a little smaller. So on each round you bring them about five centimeters less in the diameter. until the circles are hardly circling at all, just tiny, tiny little movements. And then let's reverse in the other direction, taking the circle range of motion as big as you possibly can, arching the spine as you come forward, rounding the spine as you go back. The circles start to get a little smaller, smaller again until there's hardly any movement again feeling the tiniest tiniest little circle almost like a tiny weight shift from one sitting bone to the other let's take one hand onto the opposite side of the head and take a gentle neck stretch over to the side Feeling the opposite shoulder press down as you feel that lovely release through the trapezius and scalene muscles. And then turn the nose down towards the armpit, stretching down on a slightly different angle to get more of the trapezius. And gently release, let's take the head over to the other side. Pressing the opposite shoulder down and then gently rotate the nose in towards the armpit, pressing down on a different angle deep into the trapezius muscle. And gently release. So in today's practice we're taking three yin poses. 
Each one will hold for three to five minutes. And we're starting with Caterpillar. So have a folded towel or blanket with you or a bolster if you have one, because our options for Caterpillar is that you can take this folded blanket under your hips if you need to lift up through the hips, for example, if you have any sciatica or leg pain. And also if your hamstrings are tight, you can take that folded blanket under your knees to take a little bit of pressure off the hamstrings. So either using the blanket or bolster or nothing at all, we reach our legs out long in front of us. Sitting up high on our sitting bones and you can lift the flesh of the buttocks out of the way. So rounding through the spine, chin to chest, folding down one vertebrae at a time, we're really going for a rounded spine, allowing gravity to fold us forward and folding us down as much as our body allows us. So in a yin pose, we only want to aim for 80% of our maximum range of motion at the start of the pose, because as we hold this for a long time, we'll start to deepen, deepen, and deepen as the pose continues. This is a beautiful pose to help strengthen our organs of digestion as the pose really compresses into our stomach organs. Especially then as we release, it allows the blood flow to come into those areas and improve digestive function. Allowing your body as the pose continues to just fold a little further forward with gravity. And working with the breath as you start to feel any tension breathing that inhalation into any tight areas and allowing them to relax as you exhale. So very, very slowly releasing out of Caterpillar, as slow as you possibly can to come out of this pose. And we'll take our rebound pose by laying on our stomach. So gently, slowly make yourself come around onto your stomach. 
laying down, hands folded on top of each other and forehead reaching and resting onto the hands. You may like to turn the head to one side or the other or keep it straight on. And we'll hold here for one minute. So very slowly make your way back to child's pose. And then come onto your hands and knees and either staying on hands and knees or take a press right up into your downward facing dog. So lifting through your sitting bones, heels pressing down towards the ground, chest pressing through to the ground and lifting and lengthening out of your shoulders. Feel the back of the head in alignment with the rest of the spine. And take a big, long inhale breath here. As you exhale, we'll take our next yin pose into sleeping swan. So stretch your right leg forward, a big step and lower down onto the outside edge of the front leg. Walk your left leg back behind you until you feel your hips come to the floor and check that left leg is straight, not hanging off to the side of the mat. Once you feel your alignment's nice and straight, pressing the left hip forward, allow your body to fold forward, stomach resting over the front shin. If you need to make any adjustments here, you can take a blanket and place underneath your right hip just to lift you up and give you a bit more space through the hips. And also, if you're feeling any pressure in your knees, flex your, or dorsiflex your front toes, your right foot back, so pull the toes back towards the knee. And you can bring the foot back in closer towards the hip. We're going to hold here and take this on each side for three minutes.
very slowly coming out of your sleeping swan as slow as you possibly can tuck your back toes under and press back up into your downward facing dog or alternatively take child's pose Let's take the other side, so a big long inhale breath and then take the left leg forwards as you exhale, allowing the left leg to rest onto the outside shin of the left leg. Walk your right leg back behind you, lowering your hips towards the floor. And once you're comfortable and that right hip is pressing forward, the right leg is straight behind. Allow your body to come down to rest over your front leg. Remember, you've also got the option to take a blanket under your left hip just to give you a little bit more space if you need. And again, we'll hold this fight side for three minutes. slowly coming out of this posture moving as slow as possible and making our way back to downward facing dog just for a moment and once you've taken a pause in your downward dog come down to child's pose for one minute rebound posture
gently coming out of your child's pose and we'll make our way around to laying on our backs. Knees are bent up, feet on the floor, hip distance apart. Feel your whole spine connected to the mat and the earth below. And gently allow the arms to come out to the side, palms pressing down as we allow our knees to fall over to the right side into a reclining twist. Let your head rest and look back over the left shoulder, so in opposite directions. And we'll take this pose for two minutes. If you would like to increase the stretch, just drop the top knee over the bottom knee and add a little more spinal twist in. Very slowly allow the knees to lift up using those abs with control and then taking them very slowly over to the other side at the same time allowing the head to turn and look over the opposite shoulder. Another two minute hold in this lovely reclining twist pose. You've also got the option again on this side to drop the top knee over the bottom knee just for an increased stretch and twist through the spine.
coming out of your reclining twist very gently coming up take your hands behind your knees and gently rock up to sitting place the hands behind your body and allow your knees to take a very slow windshield wiper wave side to side moving as slow as you possibly can Gentle, rhythmical movements side to side. Take the movements smaller and smaller on every movement side to side. Smaller each time until your knees are just moving one centimetre to the right, one centimetre to the left. Tiny small movements from here sitting up really straight and tall reach the legs out long in front of you and we'll take a very slow roll down to come down to laying on your back for your final shavasana of the class you may make your way down without the roll down if you prefer but otherwise roll down slowly one vertebrae at a time with control until you're laying on your back I'm going to offer you a four minute Shavasana for this class, but feel free to finish a little earlier if you need. Bring your attention to the breath, just following that inhale, in through the nose, and as you exhale out through both nostrils, just allow your body to relax and soften into the mat. Continue with the breath, in, and out and allow the body to relax. Gently start to wake up your body by wriggling your fingers and toes, bringing a little bit of movement back in. Bend your knees up and then roll over onto your favourite side. From here, press yourself up into easy seated pose Sukhasana. Bring the hands to the heart center. 
Thank you so much for practicing with me in this lovely yin yoga practice today. Namaste. Have a lovely day and I'll see you next time. So thank you for taking your yin yoga practice with me today. Remember to download my free PDF and video guide, Total Body Train Up in Under 3 Weeks. Link is right below this video. And remember to subscribe, hit the like button and the notifications bell to stay up to date with all the videos that I release every single week. See you in the next one.